It's a part of the Christian tradition all the way back to its roots to connect to desire for God and desire for the well-being of humanity and all beings. Spiritual practices help mold and form us and shape our desires so that those twin desires for the beloved and for humanity come together. When humanity is oppressed or when nature is harmed, it naturally is distressing to someone who loves it and cherishes it. And so seeking the conditions by which people can thrive and the earth can thrive is an essential part of spirituality, without which spirituality is really something else entirely. So we do practices, spiritual practices, to hone our desire for good, and we act in the world to express that desire. I love our tradition, our great books, and I love to teach them. I love the various voices in our tradition, civil rights mothers and desert ascetics and everything in between, um, knowing about these spiritual friends is important. I also teach practices, teach contemplative practices, and want to incorporate people's actions in the world, the particular ministries and vocations they have, bring those into their research projects and into our discussion of material.